60-40. You've heard me say that phrase a thousand times in my video. Why does it work and how can it help you play better golf along with some other questions that I know you've been asking because I'm seeing them in the comments. I'm going to answer those today. I'm PGA Teacher Professional Todd Cole, Director of Instruction for US Golf TV and the Sanford Power Golf Academy. And one of my favorite phrases is 60-40. What is 60-40? Well, 60-40 is 60% 60 of the weight or pressure on your lead foot, 40% on your trail foot. Okay, so for me as a right-handed golfer, that's 60% weight on my left foot, 40% on my right foot. Now, why does that work? And here is the reason it works. I'm gonna answer a couple of questions about swaying off the golf ball that I get a lot about, because I think it's important you understand the difference between those. Here's why it works. Good golf, good anything, good, good basketball, good baseball, is about rhythm, tempo, timing, cadence, right? We know this, all right? When, when you swing the golf club, you've got to move some weight, you've got to move some pressure, all right? So let me just make two swings for you. One of them, first one, I'm going to have all of my weight on my back foot, okay? And I'm just going to swing it up and try to do the best I can to hit a solid shot. I want you to watch this compared to the next one. All right, here we go. Weight's back here, 80, 20. Okay, how did that look compared to this right here? Okay, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start 60% on the lead foot and I'm gonna move it to the trail foot. Here we go, ready? Front, 60, and here we go. Now, which one of those looked more rhythmic and balanced? Of course, the second one did. Why is that? Because one of the keys and one of the real secrets to good tempo and good rhythm is what we call unweighting. Unweighting. What that means is when I take weight from one spot, and I move it to another spot. That movement creates tempo and rhythm. If all of the weight is on one side and the club moves to that, there's no unweighting, there's no rhythm, there's no tempo. So that's why I tell golfers to start with a little bit more weight on their lead foot, and then very early in the backswing, okay, get it going to their trail foot. So I start 60, 40, but by the time my lead arm is parallel to the ground, I'm probably 80, 20 and I've moved that pressure, which creates momentum, speed, more importantly, tempo. Now, here's also why it's important. As we get older, okay, there's a couple different ways to create club head speed. And we've talked about this. I've developed in a complete series around this topic. It's called the vertical line swing system. It is custom built for the average golfer, the golfer with a bad back, replaced knee, okay, sore neck, you name it, and doesn't have a ton of time to practice, that is custom built for you. And this is why it works, because there's three ways to create club head speed, all right? There's rotation, rotating around, great way to do it, but requires a lot of flexibility. How much flexibility do you have right now as you're getting older? There's another way, which is called vertical, up and down. Think of jumping and shooting a basketball, jumping and spiking a volleyball, okay? Vertical, gives you club head speed. Rotation gives you club head speed. But the other one is side to side. Movement from side to side. Think about baseball, I wanna throw a baseball. Front foot, lead foot lifts, step and throw. That's side to side movement, it gives you speed. All right, same thing happens in the golf swing. Now the easiest one of those to do over the long period as we get older and we have a lot, we don't feel as good as we used to, is side to side. So that's another reason why I start with 60 40 so I can move it from side to side. That gives me rhythm, tempo, okay, and also club head speed. Now, you might be asking yourself, and I get this question a lot. I got this question, we just got this email actually the other day, okay? They said, well, what's the difference between moving from side to side and swaying? Great question. Here's the difference. A sway is a movement from front to side, okay, front to trail, but when you move, all of the weight or the pressure goes to the outside of the foot. So watch my right foot here, right? So I'm 60, I'm 40. When I go back, I move, but I go to the outside. That's a sway. That's not good. We're not promoting that. What we're promoting is moving right and then rotating, see that? And I'm gonna give you a tip on how to do that here in just a second. But see how the weight and the pressure is on the inside of the foot. That's the key to the 60-40 system. And also the vertical line swing system. Start lead, 
move the trail and rotate so the weight is on the inside of the lead foot. Now, you might be asking yourself, how could you know if you're doing that correctly? Good question. Right here, I'm gonna show you. When you're set up right here, okay? Look at my knees, okay? Same bend, right? If I sway, they have the same bend. So I'm set in here, let's say I've got 30 degrees of bend, 30 degrees of bend for sake of discussion. All right, when I swing it back and I sway, I still have 30 degrees of bend on both knees. If you do it correctly, that's gonna change. 30, 30, when you go to the top, boom. 45, 15, see the difference? See the daylight between my knees? Now I know I've moved my pressure, but I haven't swayed. Let me do it again, here we go. Boom, proper, sway, proper, okay? That whole system, that stuff right there, we go through all that in the vertical line swing. So let me go and hit one more shot here, get set up. So here we go, I've got 60, I've got 40, I'm gonna move it to my trail foot, because why, remember what I, remember why? Tempo, rhythm, cadence, balance, but also club head speed. Start lead, go to trail, change knee flex, there it is, nice and side. So 60-40 works every single time. The key is to understand how to do it and also how to check it. Now you know how to do both of those things.